Hey guys, Professor Bell Comic Book University and Fantima, issue number one. Now this is a uh, Canadian-based company called Chapter House Comics that's making this. Fantima herself is actually in the public domain, uh, actually created by Fletcher Hanks. Uh, down in the, the description below, you should see that I actually already created months ago a thing about uh, Fantima and Fletcher Hanks. Uh, you can go check that out. It's only, what, 10 minutes long or something to that effect. Uh, this is written by Ray Fox and art by Sue Lee. This is a really, really good book. Now, this is the story of 24-year-old Paz Gallegos. She is the older sister of these two twins, and the father doesn't answer the phone. Uh, that's their father. Doesn't answer the phone. No idea where he is, apparently, whatever. Basically, she has to bring them to school. She's late bringing them to school. She's late getting to work, gets chewed out. She winds up falling unconscious from a headache. Even though she took some medicine for it, uh, she falls unconscious from this headache. And she wakes up late somehow. She goes to pick up the kids. Nope, they're gone. Uh, she's late to pick them up, but whatever. Uh, they're gone. They disappeared. So, yeah, she's running around town all night trying to find them. They're not back at home. Uh, father's still not picking up. Call everybody she can call. Nobody knows where the kids went. So, yeah, she's out in the middle of the night. All of a sudden, these guys come along. Uh, they seem to be into human trafficking. They've actually got three girls back at their uh, base locations. But their rules are they're not supposed to take people who they know. <laughs> so, okay, cool, um, I guess. So the trick there is get to know the human traffickers so that you and your family won't be taken. Excellent. You got to love the silly little rules that we make in life to justify the ridiculously foolish actions that we partake in. But <laughs> this, this actually sounds like a lot of people without the human trafficking. So, yeah, there you have it. That's pretty much the story right there. But she attacks these guys, one of them in particular, and she gets thrown off her bridge. So she's dead. Well, you'd figure she's dead. She's probably dead. Regardless, Fantuma takes over her body. Now, if you want to know who Fantuma is, she is the very first female superhero ever. Again, in the public domain. That's right. She's long before Wonder Woman, and she's even before Hawk Woman. Yeah, Hawk Woman is actually older than uh, Wonder Woman, if you can believe that. And Fantuma was the first. She was the first super-powered. Was she good? Eh, hard to say. <laughs> Fletcher Hanks used to just give her whatever power was necessary for the sake of the story. And she is now in the public domain, so anyone, yourself included, could write these stories. And here... Here, Chapter House Comics actually does something that I've never seen before, and I'm not saying it hasn't been done before, because I have seen her in other comics, including uh, the Pathfinder comics recently, but I've never seen anyone give her an origin story. And that's what we have here. Now, maybe this is just the particular origin story for this girl, because originally Fantuma was just a mystery woman in the jungle. This, this is something quite different. This is in a, a city environment, and yeah, it, it's hard to say exactly what's going on here. But this is either a Fantuma, which is like a spirit, or it's uh, it's it's the actual Fantuma who possessed her. Hard to tell. Hard to tell. It's kind of like a ghostwriter scenario. So I am right now in love with this comic. I can't wait to see more. The things that they're promising, I've seen for the next four or five issues. I think for the next four issues, it actually looks really good, guys. I'm going to give this comic right now an A as it stands, and nothing but looking forward to more stuff from this stuff in the future. And I know that this is mostly a Canadian company. Okay, apparently you cannot get this on Comixology. Uh, I, unless it's in your local stores, I don't know how you're going to be able to get this comic. So maybe this is only for the Canadian audiences. I don't know. Uh, sorry if you can't get it, but this is, wow. Sorry, guys. <laughs> if you can't get this, you really are missing out. I'm loving this so far. All right, guys, that's all for me. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.